This carved grave cover is reputed to be the gravestone of St. Ragnar. Never heard of him? Well, he is Northampton's very own saint. The gravestone looks short for a man, and like the carvings on the columns, it is in an Anglo-Saxon tradition. The figures have been interpreted as pre-Christian, even as the green man, but have also been described in terms of Christian symbolism, including Christ the Creator, the Lion of the Resurrection, and the Wolf of St. Edmund. St. Ragnar was the nephew of the Anglo-Saxon king St. Edmund, for whom the town of Bury St. Edmunds is named. Both the king and his nephew were killed by the Danes in 870. In the centuries before the Normans, William the Conqueror, arrived in Britain, English kings, such as Edward the Confessor, encouraged the veneration of martyrs and saints, some quite obscure. So it is likely that our Northampton saint, Ragnar, was being venerated, and his bones carefully preserved under this cover from its earliest days as a church. Legend surrounds the finding of St Ragnar's bones during the reign of Edward the Confessor, 1003 to 1066, the last Anglo-Saxon English king. The priest in charge of St Peter's Church had a Norwegian servant who wanted to make a pilgrimage to Rome, but was turned back by a dream in which a venerable man told him where to find the grave. The discovery was followed by the miraculous